By a stroke of a pen, your parents or a judge could send you to a mental hospital just because you were homosexual, because he was considered deviant. I had many friends who went to, were sent to a mental hospital and they were subjected to electric shock treatment and some had lobotomies. Some of them came out and they were never the same. And don't forget that Jose was out and doing things during the McCarthy era, the Joe McCarthy, the witch hunts, the communist pink faggots and all that. In other words, this is the Cold War and masculinity was going to win it for us. We were going to be strong, virile, healthy men who were capable of resisting the Soviet advance. And in the middle of all of this, Jose is a Nelly Queen. Everybody has the right to run for office. And they said, you can't run for office, you're gay. They ain't gonna let you. And I said, watch me. The Democratic Party made sure that all these people ran because they were afraid that Jose could win. The sense of defying, I was happy to vote for him. I've often called Jose the Rosa Parks of the gay civil rights movement. Every Sunday I would get up and I would talk and I would preach and I would say, Mary, united we stand or divided, they'll catch us one by one. <laughs> People think it's just a bunch of drag queens, and without those drag queens, we wouldn't have all the freedoms we have today. <laughs>